hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with my dress up darling episode number eight reaction okay the previous episode um we were we we resumed the whole episode from that section where juju was like you know talking about the cosplay and stuff and marin she said like should like you know can i cosplay alongside you can i cosplay neono netama alongside you and she was like no because she usually does it alone but then um <laughs> <laughs> she was like you know like um marin she said like okay i will also help out with the fees that is going to take uh to hire like you know, to rent a studio and since studio rent is like you know quite a large amount and gojo was also like okay i'll also pay so that's why she changed her mind at the last moment and she's like fine you know you can you can cosplay alongside with me and obviously that was something that like mine is like it's like a dream come true like that the juju sama <laughs> the cosplay goddess according to her she is going to cosplay alongside her and yeah so obviously because like you know every like every preparation that gojo does uh like uh the thing that he did with slippery girls too he actually watches the source material and he was like all right i need to watch the anime and that's how where they both marine and he had like a little home date thing and you know like they were watching the, the show i forgot the name of the show um the maho shoujo anime and uh, they watched it and you know like it was like a nice little section like kitagawa was getting a little bit embarrassed this and that and yeah it was like a fun time and by the end of it um like juju says like okay like my sister is like the camera person so you know like um and gojo was like oh i also need to see that like and mine also kind of is like all right i'll also go with you so in the end they actually go to meet the sister and the sister is actually someone who doesn't seem like the sister she like you know a little sister she seems like the elder sister and he, she's like you know that huge like you know tall and like you know so <laughs> that was a surprise gojo was not expecting that neither was marin but yeah, now we are here in the cafe talking about like all the stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm guessing we're going to resume from that. So yeah, let's get started with this episode. This is episode number eight of My Dress Up Darling. So I'll be putting the subtitle from the time I'm here. You get to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Wait. Wow, that's some high level cosplay. <laughs> okay. Really well done. <laughs> oh, okay, so she's like the manager, you can say, I guess, in a way. Oh. So her sister was didn't even wanted to post it. Okay. Wow, this is <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> all right so she's making no money out of this impressive like, like i thought like <laughs> juju was like doing this as a profession but no <laughs> Right, so okay, up until now, I was under the impression that Juju was doing this as a profession. Like, obviously, it's a hobby as well, but I thought like maybe she's making some money out of this or something. Oh, then no, like she basically started this as a hobby and didn't even want to show others, just wanted to cosplay because she liked it. And her sister was like, all right, you know what, let's make an account and post her pictures. And she became popular after that, like this. Wow. Okay. Ah. 
I'm pretty sure she probably gets recognized. I I don't know, like you know, like in the streets maybe. Like I'm talking about Juju. Maybe someone's like, oh, you're you're the cosplay girl, aren't you? So I wonder what she feels about that, you know? Like because she never wanted to be popular. She just wanted to cosplay. Now like she has this newfound popularity. I wonder how she feels about that. Is she okay with that? Is she bothered by that? Backlighting is the best. Hmm. Okay. Hobby, all right. Don't have to change the lens. Mm, yeah, most probably. Okay. Fish eye normal. Telephoto, okay. Yes, big. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Look at this. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, this is like her hobby, like taking pictures. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Probably not. Um, you never thought about it? It seems a pretty, quite a bit bothered by that question. I don't know why. Like, okay. Maybe she has a complex or something? She probably has a complex. Um, a lot. A lot. Yes. Yes. Yep. Lens all separate. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, that's the first time? Oh, really? Oh, no, for them, I think. Okay. <gasps> what? What is this? Wow, everyone's quite excited for this. Let's see what Juju is feeling. Yeah, she's not feeling okay at all. That's a normal reaction, you know? Juju's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my god, look at this place. This is like some kind of a horror game or something. <laughs> 
which is not okay. Uh, like obviously, like look at this place. Uh, with flash, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, that's why. Okay, makes sense. All right, okay. Makes sense. Wow, we're learning stuff. At least I'm learning stuff. <laughs> oh no, it's going to rain. Oh, cool. A yard, okay. Oh my god, this is like a horror movie setting. What the hell? <laughs> it's raining outside. We're inside an abandoned building. Oh my god. No, not Daijobu at all. What? Uh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, she wants... Well, obviously, she's scared. Like, what else? What? Dreams of future? Oh. Well... I'm pretty sure everyone wanted to when they were, you know, younger. Damn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, she need got to know about cosplay. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's why she wants to do this on her own, you know, and wants to check this place out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she probably really liked, um, yeah, yeah. Oh. But everything's professional, you know, like Gojo does it like a very, you know, what can I say?
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's just a way of saying. Mm -hmm. uh, this must be an amazing feeling you know like being a grandfather and like you know, li listening to a grandson saying like oh i want to do what you do oh my god okay oh my god <laughs> my god what, what happened to that visuals the animations are just the sketches <laughs> oh my god wait is she going to faint or something oh no <laughs> no she's not daijogu from the beginning you saw that and now look at this, what you've done, Gojo. <laughs> oh my god, what? Okay, another random, another random, just, okay. All right, here we are. <laughs> no one's here. This is, oh, okay. Are they here to scout the location or something? Yeah, I'm also thinking that. <laughs> oh no, okay, never mind. Okay, I'm... <laughs> All right. <laughs> she has a hamburger in one hand. And... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fries. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's happening in this episode? This is a wild episode. I feel like the art is a little bit Yankee, isn't it? Like the art, art style kind of dropped. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the art is a little bit wonky, I feel like. Yo, what? How did... Oh my god, this is a wild episode. Oh no, the, the bird grabbed it. Or didn't the bird grab it? <laughs> Not littering, I guess. Hamburger! <laughs> Why not divide it and... Half seas? I think that's what they say, half seas? There you go.
<laughs> oh, the infamous um Okay, never mind. Wow. Wait, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, um, okay. 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 <laughs> oh my god, he's struggling to take off. <clears throat> now don't fall. <laughs> Wait, is this like his first? I don't think this is the first time. Is this his first time coming here? Coming to the beach? It is. Oh. Huh. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, the, the art style is back again, and now here it's like a shift. Understandable. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Beautiful. There again. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> the way he's... It's so innocent, such an innocent face. She's like, oh, really? Oh, boy. Is she like cooling her face? <laughs> um. Oh. Wait, how did she get that? She's so far. How? Do, oh, I guess did she like pick a picture? Click a picture before. <laughs> how did he fall? Oh, I guess he tripped on the seaweed. Okay. Oh my god, that bird! <laughs> okay, this was a wild episode, I have to say. Like, the f first the whole thing with the... <laughs> the whole thing with Juju. And then, like, the bird suddenly comes and snatches, <laughs> snatches the food. And then Gojo throws the food towards the bird, and the birds... I think the bird grabbed it, didn't it? Like, what the hell? Oh my god.
in the middle of the episode i feel like you know the like the beach portion i feel like the art got extremely simplistic like you know only the the character models and the shadings and everything were extremely light like there was like an sudden change that's why it it was so apparent i think um <coughs> and even like you know the background and everything was not properly you know like drawn i feel like and i think that was like the style that they were going like i'm trying to get like you know the, you've seen like I've, I've seen animals like this where they um you know like use i don't know like some some very light background you know like some already um done backgrounds which are extremely light and like you know not much prominent and the characters are only in focus now i don't know okay you know what just a sec that's the end i don't know if this was like a style that they were trying to do because they were just talking about fo like you know uh, cameras you know dslr cameras where you know like they kind of say like oh um you can blur out the background you can you know like focus on the main character like you know the characters only and you know like the background will be a little bit blurred and everything but the f character will be the one who is on focus they were just talking about that you know in 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 in, in that um uh, in the house i think the haunted uh, not haunted house sorry <laughs> that 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 hospital or whatever abandoned place um they were talking about that and i think that's i think were they trying to do that like you know like they kind of uh, changed scenes and then we suddenly see after that you know after that whole juju scene you know the 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 art style kind of became like that you know only the main characters were being focused the, the background became kind of blurry and not prominent and i feel like that's what they were trying to do weren't they like that is kind of cool i have to say like in the way if that's intentional that's really cool because you know like it, it kind of shows us like i don't know like they were just talking about the dslr camera and the photo modes so then they kind of do that in in that scene and that's quite if, if this was intention i'll have to say that was really well done that was kind of like a cool way they did that and uh, i don't know i'm looking too much into things <laughs> maybe that so yeah i feel like they probably did this intentionally like like the, you can see the first part of the you know like uh episode like everything's all like you know the background and everything the characters are all well drawn you know the shadings and everything are prominent and you know like it it, it it's it's like a normal anime you know like even when they go to the abandoned building like you know we can see the background and everything it's prominent background and after like you know that whole scene of like you know the flashback and everything and they were just talking about um <clears throat> you know like the do the, the the photo modes and everything then gojo gets a back flashback you know of him thinking about hina dolls and his grandfather and when she starts crying that's when the art kind of reverts to that you know the, the art becomes extremely simplistic the shading becomes minimal and you know like the whole scene of uh, juju kind of fainting and everything that scene and then we get to the next scene where they go to the beach and um you know like everything's being focused on the main two characters the beach is just out of focus it feels like it feels like a like you know dslr camera photo mode or something the art is also very i have to say like you know uh non like a very what can i say like uh simplistic like there's like only the the, the, the sketches where it feels like, like someone sketched it you know and just like you know put minimal color color into it minimal shading minimal color and yeah i feel like this is like a, a different kind of style and i if this was actually intentionally done props to them um i feel like they probably tried to do that whole dslr camera thing or maybe i'm just looking too much into stuff either this or that <laughs> but yeah anyways um this episode here okay uh <coughs> Oh boy, this was a really I I love this episode. Uh, first of all, there's this whole first portion where they were in the cafe or the diner, whatever you call it. I think that was a diner. That was not a cafe. Um, and <clears throat> they were talking about you know like uh, the camera and stuff. And Shinju, I think that's her name. Yeah, the the, the sister's name, uh, Juju's sister, Shinju. Um, they were talking about how this whole thing started, and she says that her sister didn't didn't even want to do this you know like this whole instagram this whole like you know like snapping pictures the sister didn't want to do it 
So she was the one who was like, you know what, you're taking like, you know, you're cosplaying in so many cute uh, clothing. Um, let me like, you know, make an account and just, you know, just click pictures and just post them. And she became popular because of that. Now there's a few things that are actually like, you know, like really surprised me. Like this revelation that she actually never wanted to do this herself. This is basically her sister doing most of the things for her. First thing that really surprised me is the cost. I thought she was doing this professionally. And I thought maybe she was getting something, you know, like maybe some monetary help, you know, like, I don't know, maybe from advertisements or something, something. I thought she was earning money. And that's why she's able to, you know, like spend this amount of money on studio, this and that, all that stuff. No, none of that. And I'm like, damn, so everything's, and she's, she's also probably doing some part-time job or something alongside that, all of these. So she's not getting any money and she's doing this all from his own pocket. And that's impressive. I, I really was not expecting that because she does this a lot more professionally than than Marin. Like Marin does this in like, you know, like in, in a very casual manner, like, you know, the, the photograph, she didn't even go to a studio to click pictures in a very casual manner because she's barely, barely starting. But Juju does it extremely professionally. Hire, like, you know, uh, not hires, sorry, rents. Rents a studio, you know, has proper camera, has proper stuff, you know, and you know, proper dresses, like, you know, buys everything. And mine's, like, you know, cost of doing that whole cosplay itself was pretty high. So imagine how much Juju has to spend to get to do all of this so well and without any monetary compensation. Like, that's in, like, that's really, like, you know, insane, I have to say. <clears throat> Like, as I said, I have no idea about cosplayers, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm sure like most of them does this uh, just as a hobby, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there are people who are like professional cosplayers. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they are. I thought Juju was a person like that. So it's not that, I guess. He's doing this just as a hobby. Now, <clears throat> okay, and then we see a lot of different pictures from of, of Juju and yeah, oh, here's where they actually uh, talk about the different modes, okay, photo modes. And damn, the pictures were really well taken. And now this kind of shows that uh, Shinju has like a very passionate thing about photography. Now, here's one thing that actually, like, you know, like, I think like it kind of, she got bothered by it when mine asked her like, oh, why don't you, don't you cosplay as well? Because, you know, whenever you're with someone who does cosplay maybe sometimes it does feel like oh maybe i should do it too you know like like yeah that's that's a very common thought process like you know like she is a company her sister who does so many cosplays so i'm sure she probably sometimes probably thought about oh why shouldn't like you know maybe i should do something as well now she got a little bit bothered by it and that um what do you call it that uh be, the way she acted over there was a little bit i feel like ah uh, what can i say a little bit unusual a few things uh, 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 like you know i think i think she was acting like that because she's self-conscious i think probably because of her height that's probably it. that's why she was like oh no no I, I i don't do these things another thing that really kind of surprised me i thought maybe juju no knew about what was bothering her but juju was also genuinely like you know like looking at her and uh she's like oh yeah you can also do it so that means like juju also doesn't know about what is bothering her like i'm pretty sure something bothered her at that moment when marin asked her that question she seemed pretty bothered and gojo also like you know noticed that <clears throat> so but her sister didn't notice that neither did marin <clears throat> So my guess is, it's probably because of her height. She's self-conscious. She thinks that, oh, I am not, like Juju is like, you know, like kind of, uh, what do you call it? Short and like, you know, cute, you can call her that. And she looks pretty in like, you know, these different dresses. I feel like she probably has like a complex of that. She probably looks at her sister and she's like, oh, she's so pretty and look at her. I will never be able to cosplay like that. I think that's like uh maybe like a complex that he has or maybe someone like i don't know but like maybe some like you know maybe her school friends or someone maybe at some point in her life teased her because oh look at you you're so tall and big children you know children do that 
know, like children are brutal, and uh, maybe because of that, she has like a little complex complex about it. And this is my just my guess. I feel like that's probably something that's that was bothering her at that moment. But yeah, all right, that was that. Um, then they go to the. Uh, Oh, then they were talking about DSLR and Gojo looks at the DSLR pricing and he's like, damn, it's pricey. And yeah, it's expensive. DSLR cameras are expensive. My God. Oof. <laughs> uh, okay. And uh, then they go to that abandoned building, I think. that That's like like the spot where they're going to they're gonna pick, click a few pictures. They were just here to uh, check that place out. And uh, oh my God. And... <laughs> <laughs> the way Juju was acting, that's I think that was pretty normal. Like you know, like it's like the, this place like an abandoned building, and you just like and, like Marin and Shinju just strolled in. I'm like, damn, they have nerves of steel. Like I would have been afraid there as well. Like w what? Like, it's like an abandoned building. Like the the place is dark and everything. You you're supposed to get scared at that like you know atmosphere, but. Oh boy, these people are different, built different. Gojo, Marin, and um, <laughs> Shinju. <laughs> I can heavily relate to Juju in this, ep at least in that portion in this episode. <clears throat> okay, mm, so yeah, they were they go up and they were like talking about like lightings and stuff, backlight and everything. And I, I learned a lot of things, you know, like the, it was kind of edu educational, I have to say. And the way that she was saying like oh the, the light comes from the back so you we use the reflectors to put the light on our face so that the picture can come out well and yeah i also didn't know about these <laughs> like okay <clears throat> okay and then uh, gojo talks to juju gojo's like wait i can just you know like take the place out for you like why are you so uh, like you know so um adamant about checking this place out yourself and she talks about her own uh, childhood, about how she really adored magical girls. And I feel like uh, sometime in their life, every child has probably wanted to become like a superhero at, at some point in their life. You know, I'm pretty sure every child. Like it was the same for me as well. Um, I remember uh, like there's a lot of like, you know, superheroes that I wanted to be and one of the things that I particularly really liked in when I was a child is I remember uh, it came out on 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 the TV. Uh, it was Power Rangers SPD, if you guys remember. And there, there was like a like this this thing really reminded me of that. You know, Juju had that that little thing, that little heart thing, which is also something that the the, the character in the anime had. You know, the thing that blinked, and this really reminded me of that, like of my own thing where like in power rangers spd they had this I, I don't remember they had this like a little phone thing or something they always used to come and used to say like power rangers spd something they used to say and they used to hold the thing the mobile phone or whatever like this and a thing would pop out like this and that's how they would transform or something i don't remember anything it's it was so long ago and like that mobile phone thing it, it used to make a sound you know like a like a beeping sound and it used to fall like a like a foldable phone and then they used to transform i think um that thing was being sold and i was like damn i need to get that and i actually bought it and i remember playing with it for so many days and that really reminded me of the, like you know this episode really reminded me of that the, the little heart that she was holding <laughs> reminded me of myself when i was a child Oh boy. Anyways, all right. So <clears throat> okay, and she, yeah, she talks about how she really adored like and a magical girls and wanted to be one. And later on, she realized like, yeah, that's impossible. You know, you, you cannot become someone like that. And uh, these are all fictional. But then she got to know about cosplay, and she's like, yeah, like I I can become them. And she made like you know bought the cosplay clothing and everything. Did it pretty badly, but she was happy about it, and that's how her you know interest in cosplaying grew, and that's why she really doesn't care whether if anyone appreciates her, her cosplaying or not. She does it for herself because she likes it, and uh, yeah, that's what she cares about. So, and then like you know like he's goes like so why are you telling me? And she he's she's like I was really impressed by the dress. 
and I really wanted to uh, like I was really jealous of someone who's wearing a dress like that so I really wanted to meet the person who made this and um, yeah she said like it was like love in first sight the dress that you made and that reminded Gojo of his past where his grandfather you know showed him Hina dolls and he was like oh this is beautiful I'm going to make a Hina doll when I grew up his grandfather says like this this feeling that you're having is like a love at first sight feel you know, like I want all the person who come to my store when they see the Hina doll them to feel that same thing and that makes me happy and that, that same thing like you know um, Juju actually tells Gojo and obviously Gojo is like extremely happy about that because she he realized how his grandfather felt at that moment and like I feel like you know like I feel like what his grandfather felt at that moment the emotion that her grandfather felt was like a lot more than Gojo the way Gojo is feeling now you know the reason why because he's actually his grandson so basically it's her grandfather like you know from her grand his grandson he hears that his grandson says like oh i want to become like you i want to make hina dolls like you as well i feel like that's an emotion that only a grandfather can probably understand you know like unless and until gojo had kids and grandchildren he probably will never get to they can experience that feeling of your grandchildren telling you that oh i want to become like you that's that's something that is like a very different raw emotion some other different completely different thing and it must have made him so happy, you know, like grand, uh, Gojo's grandfather at that moment. Like, oh, my grandson wants to become like me. Damn, that must be like an immense joy, like, you know, feeling of joy. And we can't imagine that unless and until we become, you know, like uh, we have grandchildren. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so yeah, and he's just crying and everything. He's like, oh, I finally felt what grandfather felt at that moment. And just grabs his her hand and Inui or Juju is like <laughs> they kind of give a little monologue and like uh what Sajuna Inui age 17 because she attended a private all girls high school and this was the first time she had a boy around her age hold her hand <laughs> and there's a little like you know section where we see like her her plug just gets like you know detached and he just Falls unconscious. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I don't know how she's going to react the next time he sees Gojo. Ugh. All right. That first section was really great. And then comes the second section of mine just like, you know, saying like, oh, let's go to the beach. And yeah, they're, they're here at the beach. I was like, wait a minute, is she coming here because she wants to do some pictures? Gojo is also like, oh, are you here to do that whole backlight thing that you were talking about? And I'm like, yeah, that's probably what she is here for. And Marin just looks at Gojo and us at audience with that face, just like, you know, munching the hamburger with <laughs> no clue what the hell he's saying. And she's like, what? No, I'm, I'm not here because of that. And Gojo's just like face bomb moment. I'm me as well. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> what did I expect from her? Obviously, she's not a person like that. She does whatever she wants to do. <laughs> and she probably just had a whim like, oh, I want to go to the beach. So yeah, let's go to the beach. <laughs> oh, that was that was funny. Yeah, because I also was convinced that she probably came here because of the photographing and everything. And yeah. <laughs> okay, now she's just talking about food and everything. And okay, where is that part where the bird snatches out? Oh yeah, she's like, oh, give me French fries, give me French fries. And burger is in his hand. She's like, ah, feed it to me. And the the, the the bird comes and just snatches the burger out of her hands. I don't know what to think about that whole scene. I'm like, what is happening? Like <laughs> random stuff. That was that was that was hilarious. I feel like that that whole scene just took me off guard completely, caught me off guard. And okay, and then they were just you know just just like kind of strolling around. And he's okay. Like what happens here? He's like give up on the French fries. 
Okay, um, you want to have bubble tea while looking at the ocean? We even bought a mat with us. Oh yeah, she's talking about like how she, like you know she wants to hang around here with food. We can figure out what to do if that bird steals our food again later. And I don't know what happened here. Suddenly Gojo, I don't know what she he does like what he thought. He's like, all right. He he looks behind. Please give up on the French fries. And just throws the, I think that was the French, what was that, was that the french fries? Wait a minute. I think that's the french fry. Like how did the french fry not fly, like you know, get scattered? Like he threw it and it was, I don't know. The bird really caught it. I'm like, what is happening here? This scene was extremely weird. First of all, how the hell did the bird catch it? I feel like this was like a dream section or something. Like he throws the like, french fries. I think that was the french fries. And if it was the french fries, the first mystery here is why did the french fries not fly away and get scattered? He just threw it. But I guess if it had like a cover on it, I guess that's probably maybe the reason why it did not fly away. Second, how the hell did the bird catch it? in the middle of the sky like oh my god this scene i don't know what to you can think about the bird just grabbed it and just <laughs> okay and... <laughs> anyways okay and then there's like you know start like a little picnic thing they kind of do like they sit down and marin is like oh like you, you take half of my uh no gojo gives his burger to her and he, she's like, okay, like take half of it. This is really great. And the whole thing with the um, straw, the, the bubble tea. And this was that, da, the infamous scene, the indirect kiss scene. But unfortunately, Gojo is obviously <laughs> won't be able to do that because of embarrassment. And he's like, nah, I'm fine. And okay, and then King mine just goes into the uh, sea and just kind of splashes around and you know like with seaweed and everything and just having fun and gojo yeah gojo's like oh wow this is really amazing and like this is my first time coming here i was that kid who was just so engrossed in like you know hina dolls that i didn't even like you know do these type of things before so my grandfather always used to tell me like yeah you after like you know going out and experiencing things you'll be able to realize how different they are from pictures and like you know television and yeah, I understand that, you know, like Gramps told me that I should observe, observe a lot of things. And that's true, you know, as his grandfather said, you know, in the previous episode, that you got better because he's, he's experiencing so many new things. And experience is the biggest, uh, is, is the thing that can make you learn the most. And uh, yeah, and he's like, oh, this is beautiful. Again, the word beautiful comes out of his mouth. These type of, like, you know, special scenes. And Marin is just like, you know, looking at her, him just gets embarrassed, goes back, kind of cools down a little bit. And he's, she's like, oh, you know, like, I'm, like, I can snap a picture of him. Snaps the picture. I don't know how the hell he got that close up picture. He, she was, she was that far away. What type of camera that does her phone have? I don't know, like, you know. But, um, or maybe she took it before, I, I, I don't think she took it before, she was with him for, I, don't, I didn't see him, her clicking any pictures. I don't know how, what happened over there, how did she get such a close view of him, but yeah. <laughs> and, okay, and then Gojo falls down and gets entangled in seaweed. Yeah, that was it. Now, that was this episode. That was a very entertaining episode. I'm not gonna lie. I'm re I really love this episode. The first part, the second part as well. And I feel like the second part had a lot of things happening which doesn't make any sense. You know, like I'm like, what the hell is happening? You know, the, the whole thing with the bird and then the close up picture. How did mine get that? I don't have any idea how those happened. But it was entertaining. The whole bird scene was hilarious. I just, <laughs> I was not expecting that. And the, the style, the drawing style, the shading style also a little bit changed. I don't know if that was intentional and they were intentionally trying to do that because they were talking about photo modes 
of you know like highlighting the characters and blurring out the you know background if it was intentional very well done if it was not still very well done i enjoyed that style i have to say it was a very simplistic style and uh, yeah but yeah that was it that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to um Oh, I forgot the name for a second. My Dress Up Darling, episode number eight. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys next week with another episode of My Dress Up Darling. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.